Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at Touch Taiwan 2013. I'm at the AUO booth. So this is actually a 4.3 inch flexible AMOLED display. It's got a QHD resolution, which means 540 by 960. And you can see that it's super thin, curvy bent in the middle. It's only 0.2 millimeters thick. So this is just a technology demo. Sadly, AUO doesn't actually have anything currently planned to bring this display to market, but we can sure get excited about having flexible display technology of this quality. Now another cutting edge technology that AUO is showing off is a 4.7 inch 720p HD display that is ultra thin. So here's the demo where we have a conventional display versus the AUO display. So you can see the one on the left is much thicker. So that's actually 1.19 millimeters thick, whereas AUO's is 0.34. So this is where we're going to start to, you know, really get down the size of smartphones if we can have very durable displays that are significantly thinner. Now you know how everyone's involved in a pixel race? Well, the guys from AUO are certainly in the running. They have a display with a 512 ppi and you can see that it has an ultra thin border. So this is a 4.3 inch ultra high density LTPS display. So that's full HD, 1080p, like I said, 512 ppi, and it is only 0.65 millimeters thick at the border. So this is on the level of what LG is doing with their ultra thin borders. Here we have a five inch full HD AHVA LTPS display. Now what is AHVA? Well this is the, uh, I guess, official display term for advanced hyper viewing angles. Now this is one of the first times that I'm hearing a display kind of tout extremely wide viewing angles. That's one of their selling features. But yet here we have AUO showing off a product that is not yet on the market and they tell me they don't have any customers yet for it. So it's something that we're hopefully going to be seeing soon. Now we often judge displays on how vibrant and how wide their color range is. Now AUO is showing off something with a wide color gambit. So this is a WQXGA wide color gambit display. So this display is actually 10.1 inches and it has 95% NTSC. So this is a 50% increase on the color gambit. It has a display resolution of 2560 by 1600 and a contrast ratio of 800 to 1. So you'll notice that I've been taking most of this video at quite a steep angle. That is because of the lighting, but also because of what makes this display different than a conventional display is that the 45 degree angle, there is a higher brightness. It's actually 75% higher than what we're used to seeing in a conventional display. So if I hold it at roughly the same angle, you'll notice this is significantly less bright. Now I showed you a smartphone that was ultra thin, now they're also doing a tablet that is ultra thin. So you can see over here that a conventional tablet is usually 3 millimeters thick and the ultra thin is 50% that at 0.5. Now this is also a WQXGA resolution, so 2560 by 1600 and it has a pixel density of 300 ppi. So in case you didn't know, AUL was actually a display manufacturer for Apple. So we might be getting a sneak peek on something that Apple may be launching in the future.